Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 191. That is, what is state transition testing? Let me answer. State transition testing is one of the black box test design techniques. There are different black box test design techniques like equivalence class partitioning, boundary value analysis, decision table, state transition testing and use case testing. State transition testing is one of the black box test design techniques. Using this technique, we can derive the test cases based on the different states of the application functionality which get revealed by providing or passing valid and invalid inputs, okay? By passing different combinations of valid and invalid inputs to a particular application functionality, different states of the application will get revealed. For, for testing each and every state of the application functionality, we have to derive the test cases, okay? Using this state transition test design technique, we can derive the test cases based on different states of the application functionality, which get revealed by providing different combinations of valid and invalid inputs, okay? I'll give you an example so that you'll understand this statement well, okay? So here we have an ATM example. So here, here if you can understand this diagram, you'll understand this statement easily, okay? So if you can see this guys, okay, just uh, imagine an ATM and you are walking into an ATM, okay? After walking into an ATM, so let's say immediately after you put your card into the ATM, if you provide the correct pin for the first time itself, what will happen? The access will be granted for the card, right? All the details of your account will be displayed, right? If you directly provide the correct pin in the first try, this one, this one test case guys, okay? This one test case where you enter into the ATM, you put your card and you enter a correct pin the first go itself, okay? And your card will be accepted and details will be shown. That's the first test case. Let's say there is another situation where, okay, where you will give different or provide different valid and invalid inputs combination, where the first try, you will give incorrect pin, okay? After entering into the ATM, after putting your card into the ATM, for the first try, you are providing incorrect input, okay? So then ATM will ask, should ask you for another, uh, it should give you another chance, right? Uh, when you give incorrect pin, it's an invalid pin, please enter again, kind of option should be given. The second try, you gave correct pin. Then your card should be accepted and you should be able to do the transactions and all using your card. This is the second test case where the first go, you gave incorrect pin and the ATM has given you uh, another chance where you provided correct pin. This is second second flow, okay? So here, another state of the application is revealed now, okay? By providing invalid and valid combination here, another state of the application Okay, application functionality is revealed for the, if you can understand in the ATM words, right? Now third one, the, uh, another category where uh, first try you gave incorrect pin. Second try also, okay, after putting your card into the ATM, the first when it asks for pin, you gave incorrect pin for the first time. Then again, it gave you a chance. You have not utilized the chance well, you gave the incorrect pin again. But in the third try, it gave another chance also, okay? Third chance it gave. First try, incorrect pin. Second, when it gave chance, incorrect pin. Now again, it is asking for the pin for third time. Then you gave correct pin. Then it should accept and you should be able to do the transaction. This is another state of the application where invalid, invalid, valid combination is coming. So the application should work in this state, right? So for that test case is required. So for testing that whether application is working fine in the third state, okay? The another test case, three test cases we got. Now, finally, Let's, uh, re uh, let's uh, figure out the another state of the application where the first try you gave in in incorrect pin, then it asked for another another try, another try, then you gave incorrect pin, and again it asked for another try. Again, third time also you gave incorrect pin, then account got locked, your card got blocked. Okay, for next 24 hours, you cannot do any transactions with the card because consecutively three times, okay, maximum three times the ATM card is allowing you to provide the correct pin and uh, if you have not utilized the chance like incorrect 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 you gave finally your card will be disabled for next 24 hours okay so fourth test case is where you give all incorrect pins okay that is the fourth how many test cases i got from this example four test cases okay now understand this statement using the state transition testing okay we can derive the test cases how many test cases we derived four test cases for this atm example Test cases based on the different states of the application. We got different states by providing valid and invalid inputs, right? Combination, okay? Which got revealed by providing the valid and invalid inputs combination. 
So we are deriving the test cases based on the different states of the application functionality by providing combinations of valid and invalid inputs. Okay. Now another example I'm going to give you. For example, uh, in real time when you are performing testing and uh, when you have to derive the test cases using the state transition testing is one example I'm going to give you that is tutorials in the application. I'll take you to this application guys, sample application, a demo application you can say. After going to this application, in the application, sorry, this is not the page. Let me type it properly, tutorials ninja.com slash demo. Now it will come. Then uh, go to the login page. Here guys, login functionality, you have to provide valid credentials, right? For the first time itself, you give valid credentials, okay? Valid email address, valid password you give and try to log in. It allowed, first test case is done. Let's say, let's figure out the next test case, next state of the application where you gave valid input but invalid password for the first time. Click on login, no. So it's invalid, right? It's, it's saying no match for email address and password. So it's, it's giving another try, okay? It's giving another try. The second try, I'm giving a valid one. One, two, three, four, five is a valid in this case, you see? Second try, it is allowing me. Okay, in the first try, I gave invalid, and the second try, I gave valid. Now, another one will try. The first try, I'll give invalid. Invalid password, it's not allowing. The second try, again, I'll give invalid. Not allowing. But in the third try, I'll give valid. Another test case. Okay, this is another test case. You have to see. It should work. It's working properly, actually. Application is working properly. Another test case. Now, the first try, I'll give invalid. Second try, I'll give invalid. Third try, I'll give invalid. Now in the fourth try, I'll give valid. Another test case, okay? Now, fourth try, I give valid. And it's allowing me. Now in the fifth try, I'll give valid this time, okay? First four times, I'll give invalid. Invalid, invalid. Invalid, third time also invalid. Fourth time, also invalid. Now in the fifth time, valid. It's allowing me. So let's try another one. Sixth time, I'll give valid this time. First time invalid. Second time invalid. Third time invalid. Fourth time invalid. Fifth time invalid. And finally, sixth time I'll give valid. You see? So only uh, your account has exceeded allowed number of login attempts. Please, there is a defect also in this, okay? You see, um, this message, after coming this message, if I'm giving the input means it should not allow me, okay? Uh, it should not allow me, that's okay. Um, but uh, before my account got blocked, before it gave a try to me, still it's not allowing when I give a valid password here. So that means there is a defect in this uh, functionality. But you are able to understand right how to test the functionality, how to test the, how to derive the test case for different states of this application functionality by, by providing valid and input, invalid inputs combination. Okay, this is what is state transition testing technique. Okay, using this state transition testing technique, we can derive the test cases based on the different states of the application functionality by providing different combinations of valid and invalid inputs. Okay, so with this note, we are done with this session where I have answered. What is state transition testing for you? So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.